Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning into your weekly love tarot. I really appreciate you joining me on the channel. Uh, I will be using two different decks and pulling out six cards for you. Um, I apologize about the drilling if you can hear that. Um, and I do hope this reading can be helpful for you for the upcoming week. Now, if you would like a private reading, I am currently accepting those. Uh, all the information that you require is listed below, such as prices, services, and turnaround time. You'll find that all in the description box below this video. Um, otherwise, let's have a look and see what's coming up for you, Cappy, um, for um, this week. Capricorn, what is coming up for you? Okay, we have the moon reversed the high priestess. Six of Wands. Okay, the moon can be a Cancer. The High Priestess. Okay, there's a big reveal, I think, coming. The Temperance could be a Sag, Knight of Swords, and the Page of Cups. Okay, Pisces, Sag, you've got uh, Cancer here as well. Okay, Capricorn. You're impatient about something, I think. Patience is running out. Um, you want to move forward in a situation, okay? You're no longer back and forth. You're set on a decision and you're about to make it. You're setting sail, but you're sailing into the sunset here. So I think this is a, a great positive vibe here um, coming up around you. So, okay, I feel like with the past, I don't know if this is the moon or an attachment of some kind, but it could be quite an emotional week for you, Um but the, they both look to the right-hand side, okay? We've got the right happening a lot, and the right is about the future. I think there's a lot of talk about a future, okay, in your current connections, or you're making plans for the future, I see. Um, and you're actually moving forward, which I like, okay? Um, but it's going to happen sooner rather than later. So if you're sort of putting things in the distant future, you may be surprised because next week you will come to see that for some reason things are happening more faster, than you thought okay and um, the temperance card is all about time moderation patience but this card is reversed and this would indicate to me that for some of you i feel like time isn't on your side cappy or you feel as though you don't have the time to be doing certain things or with certain people you feel you want to move forward i mean the knight of swords is reversed so um i don't think you're rushing things the fact that he's coming up reversed when he's upright, um, he's impulsive, he can be destructive, he can go into things, jump into things, be presumptuous, um, jump into conclusions, etc. Uh, but in this case, interestingly, he's reversed. So I think you're not, you're not rushing things. Things are happening at the pace they're supposed to. Um, all in good time, all about divine timing, possibly. Um, but I also feel like it's a part of your destiny or prophecy. You've got the high priestess here. There could also be an unexpected announcement, okay? News, pregnancy, the sharing of secrets, um, going exclusive in a relationship. All these things could be coming, um, could be coming up around you. The moon is reversed. This is something about emotional protection because the boat, there's two boats here. Now, boats symbolize movement, yes, but they also symbolize steadfastness and protection. So um, I feel like your future is protected with someone maybe or you're protecting a relationship or this person is being protective over you. Page of Cups is reversed. Um, I think you're being realistic. I like this Capricorn. I think this is good. I think the movement that you're making, the plans, the plans that you put in place will get put into action, I feel. Um, so plans put into motion, but they're realistic plans. They're, they're uh, doable. Uh, normally the Page of Cups upright can be a bit of like unrealism in a way, um, unrealistic goals, thoughts, fantasies, etc., uh, but in this case, he's reversed. So again, I think it's it's it points to a practical approach. I think the plans that you're making or the journey that you're on, um, it could be with a twin flame soulmate, yes. Um, I feel like if you protect your relationship and you're protective over each other, then it's destined to go far, Capricorn. So there's a promise here. 
um, in the upcoming week that the plans that you put in place, should you be able to protect them um, and action them, they could take your relationship very far. And like I said, um, it's going to happen sooner rather than later. I think there is a strong attachment that's being formed here. Uh, you've got the sun and the moon in this reading. So this is divine masculine, divine feminine. This does point to a very strong connection that you're currently entering into or that, or the person that you're currently involved with um, could be a very, very uh, strong connection. So I like that, that, that that's come up. I think it does point to something really special. That you do have quite a bit of reversals here, but I don't think I, I still I'm still seeing movement forward. And again, I mentioned the right hand side, so it is to the future. Um, I don't know if this is anything to do with possessiveness. I don't think so. I don't think it's the ability to be possessive in a connection, um, Capricorn. But you may be feeling that someone isn't as protective or possessive over you. Um, but give them time, Capricorn. Give them time because I think time will change a lot. Not a whole lot of time. But again, that notion of, of time keeps coming up. Time not being on your side. You wanting something. I think you had envisioned it happening in the distant future, but it might happen, like I said, much sooner than you had anticipated. Um, sooner rather than later is what I get from this reading. The moon, I don't know if the past is going to come back in for some of you, or past attachment, memories, nostalgia. You may hear from someone about the past. They may have some news for you, um, and it could definitely be news from the past or hearing from past lovers um, or you reaching out to the past somehow. But I do feel like with the moon, those sorts of emotional attachments you once had uh, could be coming up around you again. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I get from this reading, uh, Cappy, but I will leave it at that. So I do hope this reading has been helpful. Um, please feel free to reach out for a private reading if you'd like. I am currently accepting those. Um, otherwise I do hope this reading has been very helpful uh, for you. So, um, I hope you have a fantastic week ahead. Please look after yourselves and one another and feel free to tune back in next weekend. So take care, Cappy, and bye for now.